Okay, you can probably tell at this point that there's some parts of the video that come after, and yet I recorded them before. So I recorded all the laboratory demonstrations of this before I actually made the PowerPoint. You can tell that, right? You're not stupid people, you teach AP Physics too. Okay, so now that the fourth wall is not being broken anymore, so I'm gonna just plug in D sine theta becomes X over L equals M lambda. I isolate the D, I plug in my numbers using the actual wavelength of red light and I get a slit separation of 4.875 10 to the sixth if you reciprocate that you get slits per meter if you divide by the number of inches in a meter you get slits per inch that winds up being 5,210 slits per inch not even close to the 13,500 that they advertise they are lying so what do you want from me um, have your student measure the width uh, of the between the tracks on a CD. A CD is like a record player for those of you who are old out there, and it has little grooves in it. Only the grooves are microscopic. If you shine a laser at a CD, then the laser will reflect and diffract in a way because of the data tracks on the CD being like little grooves, like little slits. So let me show you what that's going to look like.